Hello everyone, welcome to 90 Days with Jesus devotional and um, today is day 20. I want to believe that you have been blessed for the past 19 days um, in this devotional. Now today we're going to be looking at um, something called double honor and in the scripture in 1 Timothy chapter 5 verse 17 it says, let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor, especially they who labor in the word and doctrine. Now, it's a proper thing to give honor to whom honor is due. And if we look at that scripture properly, let's look at what the word honor means. Honor means to hold in high esteem or to hold in high value. And the word double means a twofold. So, and the scripture there says that those that labor, now, the word labor there means to toil or to work hard. So you see that these people were sent by God to you and they do a certain kind of work in your life. And this work, they say, if you go to the next verse in chapter, uh, verse 18, you'd see it says, For the scripture said, Thou shalt not muzzle the ox that treaded out the corn, and the laborer is worthy of his reward. So you will see that the one that labors is worthy of his reward. So basically, what the scripture is saying here is that aside from giving them the, the respect, the high esteem, and all that, that they deserve, there is also a fair compensation that you are to give to them when you can. There's also a fair compensation that they, that they are worthy to receive, rather. So basically, um, unfortunately, in the world today, we have um, people who have tried to turn this work into a big joke. You know, they go ahead trying to drag men of God into the gutter. And you see people in the same kingdom doing the same thing. It is quite unfortunate because the scripture says um, in Mark 3, 24, it says, no kingdom divided against itself shall stand. It's amazing how the Christian kingdom is still standing. Many Christians are fighting their leaders, fighting the people God sent to them. John chapter 3 verse 34 says that the one whom God sends speaks the word of God. So when you fight the person that God has sent to you, then, or when you speak against the man that God has sent to you, then you are rejecting the word that God has sent to you. And you are not honoring God. And in that way, you are attracting the cost to yourself. So if you find yourself in a place where people are speaking against the men of God, where people are saying things that are not in line or contrary to what the scripture says about them. The proper thing to do is to get away from that setting, get away from that place. Do not be found amongst those kind of people. By so doing, you'll be saving yourself. You'll be saving yourself. If you sit down with them, you'll be attracting a cost to yourself. And God does not joke with those that he sends to you especially when he sends them to guide you in life. These people have been sent to guide you, to instruct you, to teach you and lead you in the way you ought to go. So it is only proper that, it's only proper that you show them respect and love and you also give them gifts and bless them in any way that you can. If you, whatever you speak or do in honor, of the one God has sent to you, you attract a reward. But whatever you do or speak against the one God has sent to you, you attract a curse. The scripture says that they that receive a prophet in the name of a prophet, they receive the prophet's blessing. And they that receive a righteous man in the name of a righteous man receive the righteous man's blessing. Matthew chapter 10, verse 41 and 42. It says, he that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. And he that receives a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. Verse 42 says, whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these, these little ones, a cup of cold water only in the name of a disciple. This is telling you that if you give a cup of water only in the name of the one that serves God, he says that, verily I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. This tells you that there's a reward for everything that you do. A reward for what you do or what you say in honor of the man of God or the minister or the leader, whoever God has sent to you. 
And in other words, there's also a curse for what you do or what you say against the one that God has sent. So I want to all just say that we should not be found in the midst of those that sit down and gossip the men of God, that sit down and talk ill about the men of God or about the ones, about the spiritual leaders. It should not be found amongst any child of God. So today, I want us to pray concerning this and ask God to give us the right heart, ask God to give us the right mindset towards these men and give us the opportunities to honor them in any way that we can. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your word. Thank you because today we receive the mindset, we receive the right attitude even to honor and to bless those you've sent to us in any way that we can. Our Lord and our God, we will not be found in the seat of the scornful. We will not be in the midst of those that gossip the ones you've sent to us. But Father, we ask that you grant us the grace to honor them in every way possible, in ways that we bring honor to you. We thank you, Father, for all you have done. We give you all the glory because we know that this is your desire and it is your will. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. God bless you and see you again.